I'd like to clean up my vibration today. So I'm going to give, I suppose, two examples of where I'm pointing in that way sometimes that I like to clean up and have a new pathway and focus. So one of the examples is I tend to be a bit bound and calibrate to politeness and manners over my true vibration and just natural joy in being. Well, those are not contradictory. In other words, when you sync up with your inner being, just think about this. You can think about it in human terms and then superimpose it over your inner being. But when someone is sure-footed and flexible and confident and knowing, do you find them impatient or loving? Loving. Well, that's who you are. And so do not misunderstand consideration of others is not a departure from your own desire ever in fact when you are tuned in tapped in turned on in that love energy that is you you are considerate on steroids not meaning considerate catering to others and not meaning giving up your desires for someone else's we mean tuned in tapped in turned on with energy flowing through you and everyone who you hold as your object of attention receiving the benefit of your attention we're happy to hear you but we just want you to know that that kind consideration will never deprive you of something that you want they are not on opposite ends of the stick ever the second one is um so what I really want is a relationship where I feel resonance and knowing. But I often have old practice thoughts and sometimes they come in of, I don't want to be stuck in something I can't get out of. I don't want to feel trapped. Yeah, well, that's a really frequent one for a lot of humans. I want a relationship, but I want freedom. And again, freedom and a relationship are not opposite. They're not opposite. <laughs> They're not opposite. Especially if you've come into your own power and connection and you attract someone who gets that too. That's not uncommon. Speak the words and let's talk back into clarity. Yes. So I often, because um, I feel like I'm emitting a vibration that's Instead like... Of saying often, let's clean that up. I sometimes. I sometimes. Sometimes is softer than often. Can you feel that? occasionally sometimes temporarily see how those words are less problematic so sometimes I sometimes I we want to talk to all of you about something that happens to you your human exposure to humans and we don't mean to make that sound like it's a bad thing <laughs> it is but we don't want to make it sound like <laughs> your human exposure to humans causes you to believe that to get something really 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 special and right takes a lot of focus and a lot of time and a lot of timing and maybe a lot of good luck like going to look for a garment of clothing or a piece of furniture most people if they walk into some place and they see the perfect thing they will not buy it until they have run themselves ragged all around town because they want to make sure and what that means is there's a not trusting of connection and emotion so that's the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you know what alignment feels like do you know that when you feel enthusiasm oh let's start again right here on this most important thing that we've not said to you before how could that be Abraham how could you've been withholding something so important from us for so long when you feel that really strong powerful exhilaration you knew it when you met your mate when you feel that exhilaration you are a vibrational match to your inner being and you're translating to perfection what your inner being is feeling that's what positive emotion is positive emotion is your evidence of your alignment on the subject that you are focused upon in the moment don't you like knowing that so enthusiasm is really a good thing so if you find yourself feeling enthusiastic put the pedal to the metal
Go for it. Don't hold back in some guarded fashion because at some other time, in some other situation with some other completely different individual that had some similarities like two legs and two arms, so I've done this before. You want to trust because no creation is ever complete. And so it is quite humorous that any of you would think that you are looking for the perfect end all to end all anything because you want to know with all of your heart that whatever it is that you're bringing to you it's going to keep evolving with you oh and so you find yourself saying I think I want you because you seem unfinished <laughs> I would like us to finish each other together helpful at all very helpful one thing else I would like to ask you you often say um, those that are connected are more powerful than millions who are not you want clarification on what yeah. we mean by more powerful so think about momentum and think about the power of momentum think about the power of speed the energy of speed these are all words that you understand through your physics there isn't anything outside of your physics that we're talking about here ever so think about that you knew you didn't want that you wanted that you knew you didn't want that you wanted that you knew you wanted that and that and that and that and that so you've been focused and your inner being has been we have not said this before you brilliant crowd who is summoning new 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 constantly are you aware of it your inner being who is attracting from you your inner being who is attracting on behalf of you your inner being who is you who is the non-physical aspect of you so you launch the rocket and your inner being stands in complete and absolute compliance alignment readiness wantingness of what you've asked for so feel the power of that and then feel how you refined it again and again and again and again also in this process of living life and refining you have been pointing that away in opposition less and less and less and do you know it is the pointing in opposition that is the factor of slowing down it's like on the emotional scale that we talk about all the time can you put it up on the screen you've seen it so many times right here between boredom and contentment right here with hopefulness it says tipping point in small letters that's because once you are there once you are no longer resistant but you are even a little bored which means not trying too hard are satisfied now in the absence of any resistance the momentum will take care of itself the momentum will take care of itself if you can get to the place where you're not struggling and straining and redefining and explaining and justifying and trying to get anybody else to understand it if you're just satisfied with what you have and eager for more that momentum is going to take place so as the momentum begins to build that bursting into your awareness is what you all think is what you're looking for we submit that when you get accustomed to understanding your own power when you get accustomed to understanding the law of attraction when you get accustomed to understanding your own point of attraction when you get it that your mood matters and you know you mostly feel good then you'll start trusting if you're ornery don't go off with that person because you probably didn't get it don't do that <laughs> but when you feel excited and happy and good and it's easy for you to feel good about it go with it whether it's your lover or whether it's a project or whether it's where you're gonna eat for dinner it doesn't matter how big or small it seems in other words your inner being is excited about what you're going to have for dinner and you think shouldn't they be doing more important things and we say more important than reflecting back to you the whole of that which you have become so that you can be certain that that's who you are more and more and more and more and more never get it done and you can't get it wrong but it can be way fun way fun way fun people 
they look for peak to peak. And so they think they have to struggle and then they peak and struggle and then they peak. And we think it's just peak, 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 peak. That's how your inner being does it. Your inner being does not absorb into vortex consciousness one of your complaints, not one. Not one. You're clarifying to your employer, you're clarifying to your lover, you're clarifying to your kids, you're telling all the people all the things that you don't want. Your inner being is not taking any of that on. None of it. So is um sorry, is um is is the vortex like when you get to a place at its moment in time where you're just focused on preferences and nothing that's happened before in your life has to matter. It's just your preferences. Then you're there. there you're there. You're in it. Then you're living in the real now. Mm, yes. You're living in the real now. Mm. Great. Great. The real now as compared to the so far manifested now. But the so far manifested now has wanted and unwanted. The real now has only wanted. We really liked this conversation. Thank you so yeah. much. Really good. Really good. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next